friends, welcome to the Dusty Saddle. Today we're in St. Joseph, Missouri, visiting the Pony Express. Let's go take a look. We visited the Pony Express Museum in St. Joseph, Missouri. Here we are outside of the stables. That's me with my little brother and two of my cousins. Be sure to put a push pin on the spot we are from. We put ours in Tennessee, and my cousins were the first visitors from South Africa. The first thing you'll want to do is visit the theater. You'll learn all about the history of the Pony Express. Here's the first rider taking off from St. Joseph, Missouri. Look how everybody in town turned out to cheer him on. Here's a look inside the stables where you can get a sense of what it was like working for the Pony Express. The folks at the museum have really done a great job recreating the look and feel of the stables. Here's my little brother checking out the models of the geography and lifestyle of the people who lived in those days. Check this out. This is an original jacket worn by Buffalo Bill Cody in one of his Wild West shows. Buffalo Bill was one of the riders of the Pony Express and was only 15 years old when he was hired. That's him by the fire hydrant. The leather coverings of these saddles were designed for the riders to carry the mail and help them change horses within the two minute limit. Here's my little brother climbing into the saddle. My cousin Jamie has to give him a hand to saddle up. That's me back there practicing moving the mochila between saddles. We had a race in my family to see who can move the mochila the fastest, and I went first. Next was my cousin Rachel. Look at her go. Then it was my cousin Jamie's turn. She's ridden a lot of horses in her time, but never had to move on a mochila before. Even Mon got in on the race. Everybody had their own style. Seven seconds. Finally, it was my dad's turn. Mom and Dad are still debating who really won the race. Here's another cool thing you can do. You take a piece of paper and place it over the artwork, and then pick a crayon color of your choice. Lay the crayon sideways and start rubbing. It's just like the leaf or coin rubs you may have done in school or at home. There are four different designs that you can do. We did all four. Here's my cousin Jamie at the postal office display. This was another activity that was a lot of fun. The challenge was to see if you could sort the mail as quickly as the mail sorters could back in those days. My mom is explaining the rules of the game. Jamie was really fast at sorting the different types of mail. Let's watch her in action. They had a dress up area where you could try in all different types of clothes. Jamie tried to dress up like Buffalo Bill, but the clothes were way too big. Mom liked the old timey bonnet. that you stop by the souvenir penny machine. It costs 51 cents, but you get to take the penny home with you, and it has a souvenir imprint on it to remember your trip to the museum. After 
you leave the museum, be sure and stop by the Jesse James house. I'm sure you've heard of the famous in-law. Oops, I meant famous outlaw of the Old West. Here's the actual bullet hole in Jesse James' house from the day he was killed 130 years ago. We hope you've enjoyed your visit to St. Joseph, Missouri. Until next time, from the Dusty Saddle, saddle up and ride. Hot. Mighty hot. Yeah!